Back in my day, we didn't have fancy 3D graphics. We had Pokemon Red and Blue, and 3D was kind of like you were looking at things with your head bent to the side, with your eyes crossed a little bit. Well, things are more geometrically accurate now. We need a hero who carries the spirit of gaming history. Hello everyone, this is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today I'm announcing the next release of Polymath, where you can add icons to accompany the brand new class mods that you make for Baldur's Gate 3. Any icon that you want. Have you ever wanted to make a class mod about an overpowered elder whose golden years endurance put young people to shame? Let's do this and give it an appropriate class and subclass icon. Stay tuned to the end because I'll show you how this works beyond the automation. Before we get to Polymath to produce the Ultra Elder with appropriate icons, which is automated as usual and super easy to unleash your, my, creativity, we need to get images for our icons so we can process them and get them ready for Baldur's Gate 3. Since I'm a scientist, we're going to make the first set of images for our class mod using magic, with it instantly appearing in-game. Flynn Flam, give me a golden man! Voila! So precious. And now the subclass. Fit hips, give me the hiking itch! Now that's what I want to be when I grow up. For the less magically inclined, you can do this in four easy steps. First, let's produce icons using any AI image generator. We'll make Ultra Elder images using Adobe Firefly, which is free. Open the link in the video description or through the button, Polymath. Enter a prompt, like an elderly man with a magical walking stick, or bearded old guy in armor with funny face and click enter or ok buddy balder save your desired image as a jpeg and let me know the prompt that you use in the video comments second let's transform that jpeg into a format that larian has deemed acceptable Ketherick, the ultraist of elders had nothing to do with it they swear. You can do this using a variety of image editing softwares, which here I'll show you how to do using Adobe Photoshop and GIMP. The first, Adobe, requires you to pay about the equivalent of a true soul to use, but you know, it doesn't have to be yours. And the second is free. Let's start with Photoshop. So install it through Adobe Creative Cloud. To produce DDS files, you also have to install a specialized package, which is Intel TextureWorks. You can download it at the link in the video description. You install it by downloading the zip file and then copy the file plugins in the x64 directory, which is shown on the top of the screen to the directory that's shown at the bottom of the screen. And I'll just give you a moment to take care of that so you don't lose track of the paths. You then copy both of the files in the scripts folder, which is shown at the top of the screen, and then paste them into the Adobe folders that are shown at the bottom of the screen. Again, just giving you a couple moments to not lose track of that. Feel free to pause the video as you need to keep track of the directories, which are also listed in the README file. Then load your image into Photoshop and play around with it as you desire, such as by deleting the background or changing the size. Ultra Elder can handle your full-size JPEG versus a 300 by 300 image as suggested by Olaz, who helped me troubleshoot the content for this video. It will make your package larger. Once done, click Save As and save the file as an Intel TextureWorks DDS file through the extension drop-down box. And click Save. Change the texture type to Color plus Alpha. Compress to BC3 8 BPP Linear, as shown on the screen. And make sure MIT maps are set to Auto Generate. Click OK and your file is ready for Polymath. If you've instead not sold your true soul to Adobe, Raphael, launch GIMP, which fortunately doesn't also require you to sell your soul to Intel or NVIDIA. Install GIMP from the website, which is linked in the video description, and open your image, converting it to relative color metric if you want. After doing what you want with the image, go to File, Export, then select the file type to be DDS, changing the compression to BC3 slash DXT5 as shown on the screen. Use the checkbox to enable the perceptual error metric, generate MIT maps, and apply gamma correction. Feel free to pause the video to get those options, then click export. 
That was all the hard work, and the Ultra Elder is very impressed with your endurance. For step 3, let's import the icon into Polymath, so you can use it for your class or subclass mod. Open up Polymath and go to the Icon Generator widget from the main menu, then name your icon for your own personal reference when you're making the class mod, ensuring that it's set to class. Then import your DDS file using the File Selector button, finally clicking Import File. Great! For step 4, go to the class generator. Ensure your class is name and described. So for the Ultra Elder, described as, with age comes being mad good at waking up early. The subclass will be Walker, with the description being, I can hike further than you. To give your class or subclass your desired custom icon, select the desired icon in the icon selection box, customize your mod as desired, and then click Create Mod. Before testing your mod, you also have to install improved UI and improved UI assets, which is available through Nexus with links in the video description. When testing the mod, you'll see that it works exactly as anticipated. Be sure to let me know what you made in the video comments while liking and subscribing. So how does this all work? When you click Import Icon, Polymath copies your DDS file into the Icons folder in Polymath to keep everything organized. Importantly, it makes the DDS extension all capitals, which is mandatory. The class Mod Generator then reads the files that you put in that folder that has the substring of class in the name. When you click Create Mod, the icon is renamed to have the name corresponding to the either the class or the subclass it's supposed to correspond to. It's then placed into the folder listed on the screen so it can be effectively imported using improved UI and improved UI assets. You'll see that the images are pasted into the class icons folder and a hotbar folder within there. The class icons folder holds the images for when you're actually in game, and the hotbar folder is for the icons during character creation. Want to learn how mods work or how to do more things with mods? Join my Patreon and gain more voting power. Custom icons are awesome and they're a great way to make your mods stand out. Fortunately, they're super easy to load up when you follow this guide, with Polymath taking care of the more tedious details. Download Polymath today and let me know the exciting things that you make. I want to thank a few very helpful modders who helped me troubleshoot this process including Olaws and The Real DJMR. You can check out some of their content linked in the video description. You can also refer to the Baldur's Gate 3 modding wiki to learn more about class icons or just modding in general. Thanks for watching and for my glorious patrons. Starship out.